Welcome back to another episode of Local Search Tuesdays. About a week and a half ago, our vice president and my dear friend Mark Irvin passed away. So for this week's video, I wanted to do something special to honor his memory. I didn't post an episode last week because I couldn't even think of what to do or say. We're all in utter shock. Mark was only 35 years old and he just celebrated his birthday recently. I've known him for years since we met on the speaking circuit, but about four years ago, he was let go from WordStream. Somehow we were able to convince one of the brightest minds in PPC to come work at Search Lab. We had no idea how much impact he would have and I'll be forever grateful that we got to work so closely together for the last four years. I've never met anyone in my life who was so ridiculously smart, yet able to make everyone feel comfortable and on the same level. And geez, was he hilarious. He was the wittiest person I've ever known. But most importantly, he truly cared about everyone. He was so invested in helping everyone to be better, both at work and on a personal level. We all know he loved his, spump, his pumpkin spice lattes from Duncan, and he absolutely adored penguins. He loved his husband, Bobby, fiercely, and he lived to watch Big Brother, but one of his most favorite things was eating at Chili's. And it's incredibly fitting that his last tweet was a reply to a Chili's tweet asking why Chili's was better than fast food. <laughs> if you haven't yet, you need to read the tribute that Nava Hopkins wrote on Search Engine Land. And Barry Schwartz wrote a great piece on Search Engine Roundtable as well. Mark was a huge advocate for doing less. Less work, less BS, so you could spend more time enjoying life. Diane Reed from our sales team shared an awesome poem by Linda Ellis that I'm gonna try to share with you because it's almost like she wrote it just for Mark. I read of a man who stood to speak at the funeral of a friend. He referred to the dates on the tombstone from the beginning to the end. He noted first came the date of the birth and spoke the following date with tears. But he said what matters most of all was the dash between the years. For that dash represents all the time that they spent life on earth. And now only those who love them know what that little line is worth. For it matters not how much we own, the cars, the house, the cash. What matters is how we live and love and how we spend our dash. So think about this long and hard. Are there things you'd like to change? For you never know how much time is left that can still be rearranged. If we could just slow down enough to consider what's true and real and always try to understand the way other people feel. Be less quick to anger and show appreciation more and love the people in our lives like we've never loved before. If we treat each other with respect and more often wear a smile, remembering that this special dash might only last a little while. So when your eulogy is being read with your life's actions to rehash, would you be proud of the things they say about how you spend your dash. <laughs> like Diane said when she shared the poem, there's no doubt that Mark's dash was well spent. We definitely wish that the number that followed it was far later than it was, but we're all incredibly grateful that we got to be a part of that incredible dash. Mark, we're gonna miss you, buddy. <laughs>